Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be going over some basic math functions within Python. Uh, a lot of these functions are actually quite common in SQL. And for those that don't know what SQL is, it's a, a programming language that allows you to process data within a relational database management uh, system. Uh, so that's kind of a little off track, but I just kind of want to show you that sum, max, min, and round, those functions are all in SQL. So if you know these ones in Python, you can then transfer them over to SQL. Uh, but anyway, to kind of get this thing rolling, uh, what I have in front of you are just some of the basic math functions that I usually use. Um, I don't usually use abs, but or ABS, and likewise, I don't really use square root right now, but uh, I do use sum, and I found myself using max, min, and round, and then likewise, int and float. And we'll just kind of get into what each of these does in this video. So, what I have right here is we'll just kind of go ahead and start off with this list of just random numbers that I've already created. I've gone ahead and copied and pasted them into this, uh, this function right here. And what I'm gonna be doing is we're gonna go ahead and just sum each of these values, uh, numbers together with the sum function, and then we're gonna go ahead and print it. And that's just kind of what the sum function does. So we'll just add everything together and print it. Uh, likewise, if we go ahead and use max, will happen is it'll go ahead and return the highest number. So these are kind of just self-explanatory. Uh, likewise with min, it'll go ahead and return the minimum number. But if we go ahead and take round, what will happen is, let's say for example, we're gonna use 3.5. What do you think will happen if we print this? What should happen is we'll get four. It rounds it up. It does exactly what uh, we were taught in just kind of basic math. So if we use 3.2, what it'll do is I'll round it down. Um, now, for those that don't know, the difference between these two numbers right here, like 1,243 and then 3.2, this number right here is actually considered an int. And likewise, this number right here is considered a float. So int integer numbers, or otherwise known as ints. Um, those ones are just consider them like whole numbers. So anything just kind of with a whole number, just without any decimal. And likewise, if it does have a decimal, then usually it's considered a float. Finally, we're just gonna kind of go over what a square root is. Uh, otherwise, SQRT. What that'll do is it'll return, obviously, the square root of um, whatever kind of number you want it to go ahead and return for you. So if we print this, what we'll get is we should get 12. Why do we have an error? Let's see. So I actually had a little trouble just now with the square root function. Uh, I actually learned that it was not, in fact, built into Python like it is in other libraries. I actually had to pull up um, uh, Stack Overflow. And for those that are new to Python programming, you guys are gonna get used to having a lot of errors when things would seem simple, like the square root function, but uh, it's not actually built into Python. And because of that, I actually had to use a from math import square root. So I understand that this goes beyond just kind of the basic video that I actually had planned for today, but I actually struggled for a bit <laughs> trying to import it. Um, so yeah, so if you guys do struggle with stuff, just know that there are others out there that just have kind of just really dumb moments and uh, you're not the only one going through like the struggles. So um, so anyway, I'll just kind of get into like what Square Root does. It's just obviously very kind of basic. Again, it'll go ahead and return whatever the square root uh, that you're gonna go ahead and call. So if we print X, if we print Square Root and then within Square Root, we're gonna call the variable X if we print that, we will get 12. And it's gonna go ahead and return, again, a float for us. And so when it comes to the final uh, function that I wanted to go over with the basic math for Python, uh, this one is abs or abs, which is also absolute. Um, for those that aren't familiar with absolute uh, numbers in math, pretty much they just return a positive number. So we are gonna go ahead and print abs minus 30 or minus 40 what we'll get is we'll go ahead and get 40. it just returns basically a positive number um, so 
just kind of as a recap, sum will go ahead and return the sum of the, uh, the list of numbers that you have right here, the iter. Uh, likewise, max will return the maximum number, min, the min number, round. It'll go ahead and just basically round up or round down. Um, int, what that will do, if, for example, we have, if, for example, let's go to this square root, right? We're printing out a float number. If we place int around it, what will happen is we'll go ahead and return 12. So this will go ahead and change it to an integer. That's what the int function does. And for those that are a little confused, always we'll start from the inside out. So just know we're starting with X. X is 144. And then we're moving on to the square root. The square root will then uh, pretty much just square the uh, number right here, which will then result in 12. And what we got from that before was a 12.0, which was a float. And then we're saying, hey, we want to go ahead and change that into an integer. So then we're going to call the int function, and it'll go ahead and return 12. And then we're going to go ahead and print it. So just always start with little and then go big. And likewise, if you wanted to, for example, let's say, let's go ahead and change this one to a float. So we have the absolute value of 40 right here. And again, we're just going to go ahead and call float. Um, and again, you'll start from the inside out. So this will be negative 40. We're going to then change it to 40 by calling ABS, absolute. And then likewise, we're going to change that into a float. And for those that have kind of been following along with what I've been saying, uh, I guess what exactly is a float? If you kind of haven't already thought about it, just remember floats are always decimals. So it'll go ahead and return 40.0. So if we print that, we should get, again, 40.0. So yeah, so hopefully you guys learned a little bit more about the basic functions within Python programming. Uh, I didn't really go over what this went. Just know that if you do see anything at the top of a, a algorithm or a script or something, just know that we're calling in additional functions. So there'll be more of these just with different names um, and they'll be able to do different things. I had to go ahead and call the math and import square root. So that way we could use it within our function today. Um, so yeah, so hopefully it wasn't too confusing. Uh, please feel free to check out some other videos where I will go into what different modules will do and how you can go ahead and import them into Python. Just know that they bring in additional functions for us to make our uh, algorithms that much better. So yeah, so thanks for checking out this video and I'll see you next video. Thanks guys.